Hello there. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the dog tag pendants uh, and how to apply a design to these templates. This, the same principle applies for the heart tent pendants and the circular pendants. It's the same theory. So here we can see we've got the dog tag uploaded. Um, the red area is what we would call the bleed, and the blue area is what we would call the critical design area. Now. What you can do is you can fill your design to the entirety of, of the pendant, so all the way to the edge. And that would work, that would be fine. But it's often quite nice if you're going for a silver or a gold pendant to be able to see that silver or gold, uh, sorry, steel or gold showing through around the edge there. So that's what we're going to show you how to do today. So I've got a pre-made design already made up here, which is called Fishing Dad. So I'm literally going to drag that over and drop it onto my image computer's been a little bit slow today so and there we go and what I want to do is I'm just gonna hit enter for now so I want to see through this design slightly so we're gonna drop this opacity here on your layers window to just so you're about half so you can see it now this way when I select my move tool there I start moving this around I can see where my design is gonna lie what I want for what I want to happen is I want my design to only be in this blue area and to have the the red area completely empty so I think we can go a little bit bigger with this design I'm gonna press control and T I sort of want the edges here to come up to that critical design area but not much more I'm quite happy with that press control and a to select the whole area and then I'm going to centralize make sure it's central that way not so much that way I can come down a little bit that this is all a lot of this is up to you in terms of how you want it to look on the end on the end product I think that should be okay so let's just we'll put that back up to full opacity for a second and then we're gonna turn the eyeball off so we don't see it now here's a nice little trick what we're gonna do is we're gonna mask this this layer so first of all I'm gonna select my uh, magic wand and I'm gonna oh, I'm on the wrong layer let's select the base layer again I'm going to select the blue critical area. Now that's selected all that blue critical area. But what I also want to do is get rid of the text as well. So in this case, you can either do a lasso tool or a square tool. Um, I'm going to use a square tool for this one, the square marquee. I hold shift, so this is adding to this marquee. And I'm going to drag like that, click and drag. Now, as you can see, we've got this whole area here selected. So let's click on my eyeball again and we're going to look at this layer, the fishing layer, select it and then you're going to go down to this little button here that says mask. Okay? And bingo, there you go. What that's doing is, is <coughs> sorry, that's obscuring your vision um, outside of that critical design area. So what we can now do is click on this little one here to get rid of that layer visually and that, that there is the design that we're going to use. That's what we're going to want. And once that's finished, you basically file, save as a PNG, and you're good to go.